Hi guys, in today's video we'll be covering the anti-freeze valves and by the end you should know everything you need to get started. Make sure you stick around to the end as we'll reveal what's in our next video. Let's get into it. So when you turn up to site you will receive two of these boxes and inside the box you will find the anti-freeze valves. Now the anti-freeze valves used to come with um, a, like a union fitting, um, now they're compression so they're much easier for you guys to fit and we send these ones out as standard now. We don't like to use glycol so we use the anti-freeze valves instead. The anti-freeze valves fit outside next to our unit at the lowest point, so the lowest pipe point that you've got outside next to the outdoor unit. The anti-freeze valve itself opens when the water temperature gets to three degrees. When the water temperature rises to four degrees, it will shut. So it's letting that water out, stopping that freeze happening inside the system itself. There's an air admittance on the top, so the top's got the air, lets the air in, and then through the bottom is where your water will come if it gets very, very cold outside. Remember, these are a last resort, and they'll only ever come into action if you have a power cut and the unit can't defrost itself. So when you fit these outside, there's a couple of measurements you need to bear in mind. First is, on the flow and the return, they need to be 100 millimetres apart. And then from the floor, they need to be 150 millimetres. And you'll probably get that anyway, because the units we fit are on feet themselves, and the anti-vibration feet. So you've got that distance there um, to cover yourselves. When we fit our anti-freeze valves outside, and we have to insulate the pipe work, make sure you don't cover this air admittance on the top. So we want the insulation to go right up nice and close, but not cover any of the air admittance on the top there, so that the air can get in to release the water if we come to a freezing situation. Next time, we'll be looking at why we don't use glycol in our systems. Make sure you like and subscribe to get more information on heat pump installations. 